Brandon brought one more, yeah. uh, one more watch for us to see. Sure. I don't know if, if Archie would approve of this watch. Archie just, probably would not. Okay, Archie. Maybe, maybe he would. This is, this is a trigger warning got, for Archie. Okay, some history. Turn it. the video off right now. That's some history behind it. Uh, this one uh -huh. is uh, Stova. Stova, uh -huh. I guess. Is like, that's okay. Uh -huh. uh, wow, that's kind of thin. Yeah. That's nice. Years. Um, it's a. Uh, is this German? Yeah, yeah it's a German. It government. feels German. It feels like uh, really good. It is a. Uh, yeah, this one is a, a limited edition, only 100 pieces made. Uh -huh. uh, this one has a sunburst blue dial, which, again, you can't really see in this lighting. But, uh, yeah, kind of, you love uh, your subdued dials, don't you? Well, it, it's, it's not really that subdued, though. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it's, 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 again, it's just but, bad lighting in here. But, um, nice uh, date placement. Yeah, perfect date placement, yeah, actually. Especially when really it's the 6th of the month. Yeah. yeah <laughs> <laughs> because, like, if you change, you pull it out, and mm -hmm. pull it out, you change it to the, change it to the, the, the 6th. Right? Mm-hmm. That's right. Bam. Right? All right, now it makes total sense. <laughs> that, it's, got, it's got a really it's solid feel to it, i got to be honest. Is this is this yeah. the strap it came on? Uh, no, actually, that, but it is a, a Stoa strap. Okay. Um, it, 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 that comes on the normal Flieger models. This one just came with, like, a normal brown leather strap without the rivets, but I love the rivets. So All right, and that. so you can manual wind this? Uh, yeah, it's, All right. uh, yeah, it's, it's a 2824, same as your Hydronaut, so. And non-screw down crown? Non-screw down. Okay, so I can just go to yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, there's that zippy wind of the ETA. My my Hydronaut has a has a zippy wind too. Yeah. Actually, yeah. my my new GMT had a zippy wind too, and it was like that kind of freaked me out. Yeah. If it had been a sub, I would be sort of worried that somebody had replaced the mm -hmm. the movement. But yeah. but the uh, you know the three one eight five was was right. doing its thing, so kind of uh, made me feel better. Yeah. But uh, yeah, this watch is kind of special. This one took me a long time to find. Uh -huh. By the time I knew I wanted it, they were already sold out. Again, only 100 pieces made and uh the stoa fliegers i i like the flieger style um of course it's uh got kind of a uh an evil history as they were like pretty much like nazi <laughs> nazi watches for oh, wow. the <laughs> german air force in the in world war ii but regardless of that like uh -huh. they've become like the flieger style has become uh classic style in aviation watches which uh -huh. are one of my favorite genres of watches all right that's um, interesting so so and it, stoa was one of the five original companies to manufacture the flieger back uh -huh. in the 40s so that's why i wanted it was like iwc uh stova laco uh vempe and uh alanga unzuna okay and so so uh flieger watches as in like you that's a pilot watch flyer yeah, yeah okay yeah. i guess that translates to what flyers yeah flyers in german and uh and this would be like one of the original uh yeah kind of, i mean the original ones were 55 millimeters meant to be worn over like, and, the, and this uh, is flight suit this is 40 <laughs> four okay well i'd much so, rather have a much, 40 yeah let's let's see what do you guys think um it's got the same lug to lug uh and case width Mm -hmm. dimensions as the Submariner, but it feels totally different. Yeah, well, it feels a lot wider. Yeah. Uh, of course, that's because it's, this is yeah. 40 millimeters, but it's it like doesn't have a, a swivelly bezel. Yeah. Well, uh, it doesn't have a swivelly bezel, so you know I can't do it. Yeah. But, uh, no, it is a good-looking watch, and it looks like it's got some pretty pretty fantastic loom on it. That's Yeah, thing oh, like, my God, uh, that thing in the dark is amazing. It's my favorite watch that I own when yeah. it's in the dark. <laughs> yeah, every bit of it every, lights up. Yeah, and the, the second hand is just, it's so long, uh -huh. and seeing that thing swing around in the dark is really cool so and and you got some uh bevels there yeah and what does a watch like this run um i think they retailed for like 900 euros when okay they, when they came out uh-huh um i paid a little bit more than that because they were sold out at the time and there's a premium on it and this is 26 of 100 yeah very interesting. So, do they come out with a lot of um, limited editions? No, they no, don't. No, okay, no, so it's not like so. it's not like a, a no. one of many. They have a few other, men on the moon. Yeah, they have a few other limited editions in in their other ranges and a few in the Flieger range as well. But this is the only blue dial Flieger that they've ever done. Uh huh. Um, and I loved how it was different than the normal black dial Fliegers that you'd normally see. Um, I like watches that are slightly different. You know, that's kind of the reason why I got the Grand Seiko. Too, yeah, yeah, that's a limited edition as well. Now you've got very uh, and, uh, eclectic tastes. I do, I'm, yeah. Unlike you're, unlike me, yeah, I'm yeah. I'm pretty much. You're much more conservative than me. Yeah, give but... me a swivelly bezel, forty millimeter dive watch, and, yeah. and I'm I'm good. 
Uh, yeah, you probably are a more well-rounded watch person than I am. So I try not to have too much of one style or too much of one thing. Yeah, I don't like yeah. more than it shows. Two. It shows. I don't like more than two of the same dial color. Well, you're also much more forgiving yeah. than I am about certain certain pieces. Yeah. Um, okay, what does this run time-wise? I mean, this is uh... Uh, it runs pretty well. Um, it, I mean, it's a top grade at a twenty-eight, twenty-four, which. They they run they tend to run pretty well anyway. Have you, um, but right now I'm getting uh, plus three on that one. Plus three, oh, it's yeah. fine, fine, yeah, that's pretty good. That's really nice. It feels like a really high quality watch. Yeah, I'm I'm very pleased with it. Yeah, um, and I love how thin it is too. It's. I mean, it it feels very um, tight. Like there's not a lot of space in there. Yeah, I feel like everything is just proportioned perfectly. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah, so what do you dislike about it? Um, it, well, I guess there's one thing. Because it's so thin, uh -huh. at times it can feel a little fragile. Really? You know what I mean? Like, oh, God, it feels like really a, solid to me. Like, but, yeah, but I, I, it I, I does hear you, feel very solid, but like compared to like a thicker dive watch, you uh -huh. know, like that has a beefier case. Sure. Um, it can, just, it's probably just a mental thing for me, mm -hmm. but... It can feel a little fragile, but I haven't had any problems with it in terms of reliability or anything. So, um, okay, so the I'd the, say that's probably my only my only dislike. Uh, I mean, I guess I wish it had a bit more water resistance. It's only fifty meters. Okay, all um, right. but yeah. it's a it's a it's a you know supposed to be a flight watch. Yeah, I mean it's okay watch, for the so. for the rain, and that's really I mean it's yeah. not like you would you would take this to the beach or yeah, anything like no, that. So no, I'd never swim with it. Yeah, that was actually my next question about the 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 water resistance yeah. on it. Yeah, only 50 so, meters, but... All right. Um, Sophie, what do you think of this watch? Uh, you like it? Yeah. Yeah? What do you think? Which do you prefer? Do you like... You like this one, Stella, or do you like this one? This one, Stella. You like this one? Oh, wow. All right. Yeah. I thought you were a Tudor girl, but... I think so. Yeah. It's pretty nice. It's got a, got a nice blue dial. Yeah. So and blued hands too. Yeah. Oh, hands. really? Yeah. yeah. you're right. Okay. Yeah, if you, if you uh, tilt it just right, you can see the the glint. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 Um, uh, you now you can kind of see the blue. Right. Yeah. Blue, yeah. It, so the blue pop out a little bit. I saw it pop for a second. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Cool. Well, hey, thanks for bringing it. Yeah. No Seems like a nice watch. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you next time. Hold on, Sophs. <laughs>